Boxing Voice. BoxingVoice.com live at Lou DeBella's Broadway Boxing with the winner with a first round knockout, Sugar Boy. Got a big Brooklyn crowd here. Tell me, is the goal still to headline the Barclays Center? The goal is to headline wherever I can. Um, you know, I'm just going to keep working. I'm not going to make any comments about where I'm fighting. It's just, as long as I keep going doing that, I'm good. Now, clearly, you're content with the way the fight went. But what was it? What was able to make you land that knockout punch? Guy right here. My dad. We, we, uh, we saw him fight before. We had a perfect game plan. And that's what you saw. Now you signed to Lou DiBella. Clearly he puts on this Broadway boxing, very similar to Showbox. Developmental fights for fighters. How often are you looking to stay active? I'm ready to fight again tomorrow. You know, as soon as possible, I'm ready to go back in. How pleased was your promoter, Lou DiBella, with your performance? Oh man, he's happy. He's happy. Me and Lou got a good connection, you know, uh, great, great guy. And he takes good care of me. He treats me how I should be treated. So, you know, I'm, uh, I love, I love Lou. Great. I seen you at the Barclays Center this past Saturday. Uh, were you there in support of Daniel Jacobs? My whole team. Da Daniel Jacobs, Marcus Brown, Saddam Ali. You know, those are my brothers. I grew up with them. I'm assuming you use those guys to get you prepared for this fight. Uh, Danny Jacobs and Marcus Brown, and then Curtis Stevens also. Now, how influential was that sparring with world-class fighters like a future champion in Curtis Stevens and a current champion in Daniel Jacobs? It's great work. It's great work. Great work. Um, you know, they show me a lot of different things. It, it sharpens up your mind so much more than just sparring a regular guy. You know, you you know you have to say that much sharper, that much that much smarter. So it was great work. Now, I can't just stay on boxing. I mean, when a guy's sitting in front of me with fire red hair, I got to ask, what's, what's going on? It's a show. It's a sh show business. It's show business. I got to put on a show every time I go in the ring. Different hair, different shoes, different socks. You see the socks? They, they're different from the fight. So, you know, shout out to Odd Socks, my sponsor. Um, you know, it's just, I put on a show all around. Now, I know you said as soon as possible you're looking to get back in the ring, but realistically speaking, how long you think you got to take off before not only can you start to train, but also get back into the ring? Realistically, I'll be in early October. Realistically. Now, I remember in 2013 we interviewed you, and you said the goal was one day to headline the Barclays Center. I know you said right now you just want to fight, but... I want to win my... I want to win my world title in the Barclays, like Danny did. That's what I want. That's a dream. Do you, you think you'll be winning that world title in, at this division, or would you have to move up? 68 is good for me. 68, maybe 60. You never know. So I'm just, I'm just working right now. You know, we got a, we got a fresh team. We got a fresh team. So, you know, we got a lot of changes being made. Also, so great, great work. So now, give the world just a little info on you, because I mean. You've been training with Curtis Stevens, Daniel Jacobs, Marcus Brown. These are names. These are guys that are fighting in the Barclays, fighting on Showtime. You have Paulie Marlinaji here at your corner today in support of you. Clearly, people see talent in you. Tell the world why they need to watch you. My hair. My hair, duh. Now, uh, if you want to be entertained, my, you don't want to watch a boring fight. That's the bottom line. I come to give you a show. My outfit, my hair, my, my shoes, my socks, the way I perform, the way I talk, it's just, it's an all-around show. So, if you want to be entertained, you want to enjoy yourself with the fights, come watch me fight, watch on TV, and you'll enjoy yourself. Well, thank you very much, Boxing Voice. Appreciate your time. If you have any social media where your fans can follow you, now is the time. JY does it on Twitter, YoungGuy95 on Instagram. Follow my journey. Thank you. Boxing Voice.